Hi everyone, Alex Tardy with National Weather Service here to talk about another atmospheric river to impact Southern California. Yes, another one. Uh, significant precipitation is expected with rain on snow and additional areas of flooding. Here are some recent photos of the massive snowpack around 100 inches that fell in Lake Arrowhead. Okay, the key points of this, the grounds are saturated. We'll show a quick update of the climate conditions. The weather pattern is an extended Pacific jet stream, which is bringing west to east flow, tropical air, and mild conditions, so high snow levels. This is the second storm. Uh, it looks like it's going to come in Tuesday afternoon and roll through early Wednesday with widespread one to two inches. Some areas in the mountains, two to four inches. So this could lead to some flooding, even in urban areas. Uh, rainfall rates about a quarter to a half inch. Really any area is susceptible to that with the atmospheric river. High snow levels, so just a little bit of snow above 7,500 feet. And then the tail end of the storm, a little bit of snow between six and 7,000 feet. We'll see significant runoff uh, going into our rivers, small creeks and streams, areas of rural flooding, even in the areas where the snowpack is large due to the melting and the rain on top of the snow. There's an additional Pacific storm possible for around March 20th. So we'll keep an eye on that. We'll briefly talk about that. And then uh, last but not least, we don't see major surf or swell, um, but it will be a little bit rough with the rain and wind over the water. Here's uh, what we saw already under our belt December through February. So this is the core of the winter. This is the December through February period we often talk about before the winter season. The purple shaded areas are one and a half to two times as wet as normal. That includes parts of San Diego County. The temperatures have also been cooler than average as shown here in the dark green shaded two to four degrees below average. So cool and wet. The only exception has been the desert areas and then look at the Pacific Northwest. They've been drier than average. If you look at the entire water year since October 1st, the same signature or footprint, if you will, shows up with Central California, but all the way down the coast into San Diego County, much above average. So some of our mountain areas of San Diego have already exceeded their annual rainfall. Here we are in March. The snowpack has been phenomenal, uh, record breaking. The Sierra Nevada snowpack, Central Southern is at a pace greater than 82, 83. So if it doesn't snow again, uh, the Southern Sierra Nevada has exceeded 82, 83 in terms of the amount of water in that snow. Big, big snowpack as seen in these photos. Now the snowpack is not just the Sierra Nevada, our mountains of Southern California, San Gregonio, is looking at over 40 inches, near 42 inches of snow water equivalent. So that means if you take the snow and melt it, that's how much water you would have. Uh, statewide, it's about 200% of average. The Sierra Nevada precipitation. So the northern part is running very similar to 2018, 2019. So this takes into account what happens if you get rain and you don't get any snow, so it's not stored it runs off. So this is precipitation. For the Southern Sierra Nevada, not only do they have record breaking snow, look at the pace they are at uh, to the two wettest years, the 82-83 and the 2016-2017. A quick look at the water supply. You can see most major reservoirs have doubled, if not tripled. They're running near or above historical averages. Take a look at the stats. Okay, uh, La Nina has faded. We can see some warm water is coming up in the Eastern Pacific, but it's important to remember, most of this winter season up until now was the cold phase La Nina, as shown on the map and timeline here. In fact, the air points to the tropical Pacific Ocean continues to have signals of weak La Nina. So in other words, the atmosphere takes a while to respond to changes along the equator. And even though we're seeing some warming and it's back to neutral, we're not necessarily seeing changes in the atmosphere. The rain, 
the precipitation has been significant again here in March, a lot like what we saw in January. So far widespread three to five inches across Southern California. Some of the mountain areas have exceeded eight to 10 inches, a lot of that in the form of snow. Sierra Nevada really stands out in the purple shade, 10 to as much as 20 inches of water in the past two weeks. What did this? The weather pattern late February, early March, cold air dove down from the north as shown here. The most recent weather pattern, much different, pulling in directly off the Pacific and even from the tropics and Hawaii as shown here. So we've lost the cold air and has shifted uh, back up into Alaska. So the current satellite image shows atmospheric river development out of the tropics near Hawaii pointed to the arrow. That swath of really moist air is going to move back into central and southern California Tuesday, Wednesday. This storm system is going to cut through late Tuesday. Most of the rain is going to be Tuesday night for Southern California, and then it's going to exit on Wednesday as shown here. Now there's another storm potential for starting on the weekend, more likely early next week. And that comes from the same region, west to east across the Pacific, and dives into Southern California as shown here. We're looking at the potential for that storm, a large, broad storm system and powerful jet stream cutting across California around March 20th, 21st. Okay, the first atmospheric river, it's really the second in the past week, but the first in this forecast comes in on Tuesday. This is a depiction during the morning on Tuesday. You can see it slamming into the central coast and then weakening somewhat as it starts to enter in the afternoon into Southern California. This here also shows the atmospheric river during Tuesday night or early Wednesday. And you can see even though it's weakened, it's right across and holding together into Southern California. Therefore, the outlook for the heaviest rain is the LA Basin area up to Santa Barbara. That's where the greatest threat for excessive rainfall and flooding associated with that. But yellow shaded covers all of Orange County and the San Bernardino Mountains as shown here, with still some threat all the way down to San Diego. The signs here, subject to flooding or when flooded, turn around, don't drown. The when flooded, turn around, don't drown program is a year round program. So whether it's sunny or raining designed to highlight flood prone areas and the danger. The forecast for all of California looks like this, several inches in the Sierra Nevada and the valley areas one to three inches up and down the coast. Here's a zoomed up view for Southern California. You can see our region heaviest in Orange County with the atmospheric river Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night, but widespread one to two even in San Diego County and a lot of rain on snow, two to three inches. San Diego River is expected to rise significantly as shown here with certainly potential of nine to nine and a half feet with even a chance of it exceeding into flood stage. There will be some snow, especially the really high elevations of eight to 9,000 feet, some heavy wet snow. And then the tail end of the storm on Wednesday could produce a couple inches of slushy snow down to the mountain communities. The winds will be strong in the mountains and deserts as usual coming in from the west. Now uh, for the coast, it'll be breezy as shown here. So a little more wind than we saw the last storm. Temperatures on Wednesday will by no means be cold, uh, but so any snow that does occur will melt and become slushy wet. Temperatures rebounding back into the 40s in the mountains, but only near 60 on the coast. The outlook, as mentioned, remains above normal, focused on central Southern California, shown here between the period March 19th and 27th. So a lot of this will be the next storm we see that we talked about around the 20th, 21st. 
Follow the latest conditions at weather.gov San Diego. And you can follow the rainfall and the river stages at the link showed here. Stay safe, everyone.